my name is Erica, the Chestnut Mayor, and today I am here to do an unboxing of a Briar Run Collector Club Special Run model. It's the Charolais Bowl. This is one that just came out recently. I just arrived today, actually. It's a model that uh, debuted back in 1975. There haven't been too many of these models made from what I understand, and this one's particularly special because it was painted with a vintage finish and there's only 350 of him made. So I was really excited when I was selected to um, have this model. I'm not the biggest fan of the model animals themselves. I do have a couple that I've collected over the years, um, but despite that, I am really excited to do an unboxing for you today just to kind of check him out. So he just, I just got him today, he came in the mail. Um, I've never received one of these models before. I am really new to the collector club itself. And this is my first time participating in a collector club like special run. So um, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited. So anyways, um, the box that it came in, I'm a little bit nervous about. It's like not the dirtiest of boxes, so hopefully he's okay in there. I don't know what they did to him when they shipped him, but there's quite the dent right there. And that makes me nervous, so I'm a little bit concerned about his condition in here. Hopefully he's wrapped up pretty well, so we won't really be able to notice anything wrong with him. But yeah, so let me see. Um, do not open with a sharp instrument, okay? I think this end is probably the best end to open with. If you're not gonna open with a sharp instrument, like what are you supposed to open it with? I have like no idea. Um, so I do use a knife to open a pocket knife. This is my boyfriend's pocket knife actually. So I usually go for both sides, the package. You don't wanna stab the knife in there because you don't wanna stab him. But yeah, there we go, yeah. So a lot of times once you've opened both sides and be careful kids. Honestly, if you're not used to using a pocket knife, you might want to use a box cutter um, or have an adult do it for you. Since I'm an adult, just very carefully open it. So open at your own discretion. I I hold no liability to anyone who cuts themselves with a knife opening this box because um, I recommend you do it safely. So he is pretty well padded. There, There's a lot of bubble wrap in here. Thank God. I love bubble wrap, guys. I use it to help me store my other models. Just gonna throw that on the floor. So it feels like these are his feet. Ooh, oh my god. He's big. He's actually bigger than I expected. Um, he like barely fits in the box. Oh, this is cute. I'll have to look at this little collector's magazine later. So cute. So cute. All right. All the bubble wrap off. Do, 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 do. Lots of tape here too. I like to save. I like to save the bubble wrap. So I'll probably just take the tape off. I don't want to knock over my snowball here. This is my first. This is the sorry, this is off track. This is my first little um, winter, like Christmas briar that I got when I was little. And um, I love her. I lost the green wraps, but I still have the red ones. I love the red ones, they're cute. She looks cute with just the red ones on too, so it's fine. She's my forever pony, so I plan on having her for life. All right, so he's uh, he well wrapped here. And now under all of that wrapping, oh my God. He is, jeez, oh he is freaking massive. Okay, here's a little sneak peek. Got his face all wrapped up. And uh, I'll do a one over and see. You know, I'm pretty good at eyeballing like flaws, but I'm not an expert by any means. Mm. I love that freshly painted briar smell. Unwrap his head there, and there he is. There he is. And I mean, so far, I mean, he looks beautiful. He looks so good. Oh, he does have a little rub on his butt. Some factory flaws there. Mm, darn. 
and that would be tough to fix. But he is really cute. He's a lot bigger than I expected. The roan color is really pretty. Very vintage, um, vintage-esque. I had to look up how to say Charolais um, online before I started this video because I had no idea. It's a French, French bowl. Um, I'm just a little disappointed that he has such a rub on his butt. That's the only big thing I'm disappointed about. But, I mean, other than that, he looks really good. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep him or not. I might sell him. Anyways, here he is. Um, very cute, very sweet. Uh, only 350 made. 75 model. A 1975. I'm excited. Um, to be a part of the collector club and see what's coming in 2020. So I think the, the last little thing they'll do for us collector club members in 2019 is probably the Santa surprise. I hear that they t they will announce what that's going to be on Christmas Day. So stay tuned for that. That'll probably be the last of the 2019 collector club um, little perks. And then it's on to 2020. So I'm excited to see what we'll get for the 2020 collector club. Um, what different models we might see, and yeah, here's Ruben. Very cool, very sturdy boy. All right, guys, stay tuned to my other videos, and if you enjoyed this one today, please hit the subscribe. I would very much appreciate it. I very much appreciate everyone's support, and tune into my podcast, the Chestnut Mirror Podcast. It is currently on my website, and hopefully will be on Apple Podcasts and some of your other larger podcasting websites and apps. Uh, coming soon. So stay tuned for that. There'll be another episode this week. And thank you everyone for all your support. Have a good one.